At 18, I will be. 18, I will be pretty much. I want to be a D1 prospect, a kid that might want to get drafted out of high school, probably first round. Yeah. My baseball dream is? My baseball dream is to be a legend. I want to be remembered. As we know, the number of African Americans in baseball is continuing to dwindle, but there's this new wave that's coming into baseball. I've not seen this many African American kids at the top of the ledger in many years. There's always been a culture in baseball for African American players, but I think you see our players in the game now and embracing who they are, and that's promoted and accepted across the industry. Jason look, Jones. Look, look at this kid, look at him. Some of the best raw power in this entire prep class. Austin, a grand slam and a 6 nothing lead. Full count, swing and a miss, Austin got it. We all know his dad, Carl. Justin Crawford could win gold gloves someday in center field. There's some very projectable power in this young man as he begins to fill. Tomorrow's maybe the first pick in the draft. Nobody ever messed with these mechanics. You look in the Hall of Fame, man, they all in the bands like that. We're going to be ushering in a brand new generation who are going to really make baseball America's pastime again. The Washington Nationals select Bryce Harper, Carlos Correa, Aaron Judge, Tim Anderson. When it comes to the baseball drafts, I mean, there's really nothing like it. If you're an NFL player, you know, if you go 1-1, one, one, we're going to see you starting in a game sooner rather than later. Same thing with the NBA. LeBron James went, you know, 1-1, one, one, guess what? He was starting day one with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2003, right? And baseball, it's not like that. There's so much more mystery. Every single person that gets drafted has an opportunity to truly make it to the big leagues because we have the minor league system. But there's still no guarantee that you're going to make it to the big leagues. Talented high school players have two options. Either to play pro ball if they get drafted, sign the contract, or go to college and get an education as well as play. The benefits of going professional baseball out of high school is that you get started earlier. I matured fast. They said, hey, on Saturday or Sunday, you're going to have to get on a plane and head to Arizona, which I've never been to Arizona. Then you're going to go to Billings, Montana. And I said, I have no idea where Billings, Montana is. I have no idea where Montana is. And we had a number. My phone rings, my agent. And he goes, hey, it actually went higher than the number. There was no negotiation. That was the last time I ever thought about going to college. Teams take out just these astronomical financial backings for these players. I think the drawback, too, is you are thrown into a system you're not ready. The positives of going to college ball, you know, you get opportunity to mature. You go to school, and then you get other skills that can help you grow and then have an off-field career. In college, it's all about winning. Team plays well, team working together, team camaraderie. You won't get that again until you're to the major leagues. If you're playing in the SEC or, or the Pac-12, I mean, I think that's almost very similar to playing high A baseball. Doing that will help drive draftability and then hopefully they get a better deal. But if you go to a four-year school, you have to wait three years until you're draft eligible again. Making it to the major leagues is very, very, very difficult. But it's like the Marines, many are called, but few are chosen. And as a 17 or 18 year old, all the things that you're focused upon are really playing baseball, getting good grades, and then going to prom. You go from that scenario to now having to perform and then hopefully perform well enough to give yourself the chance to create a life-changing opportunity, not just for you, but maybe your entire family. And that's what we have with the MLB Draft Combine. I went to the 2022 MLB Draft Combine. Major League Baseball Combine is essentially an opportunity to mirror what has taken place in other sports for years. They have an opportunity to showcase and see a kid's physical abilities and attributes. They learn a little bit about his personality. The ability for a kid to come to a Major League City in a Major League Stadium and show that they have what it takes in order to move forward. Year two of the MLB Draft Combine, a two-day event all sorts of exercises and uh, young men 
who want to be drafted next month. Whatever. Oh, how you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? Mario. 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 You want the bet? You want the best? Ooh. You want the best? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, he went straight. He went straight for the point. He went straight for the point, baby. Jason, is that your logo? That's hard. I like it. You like it? logo already. How much? How much merch do you have? I would like to wear some Jason Jones logo. I mean, some Jason Jones merch. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, BJJones.com. Serious? Swear to God. You gonna make us pay? What's up? I can get a discount? Yeah. Maybe yeah, family discount. Man. Get you the pay. Trying to give me the mainstream. <laughs> We're here, little three. Oh, and on, on, on. Lay, lay on the floor. Nah. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Nah. No way. Nah. Just nah. check my bad. <laughs> In the summer of 2021, you look at Tamar Johnson and Jason Jones. You had four and five. Jason was ranked fifth overall. Termar was ranked fourth. But when we talk about that evaluation process, like those things aren't permanent. They can change. And, you know, as a player and as a parent, you're just hoping that the evaluations that the scouts have seen throughout your junior year, that they stick heading through your senior year as you come into, you know, the MLB draft combine and into your draft summer. You know, Tamar Johnson is a guy that, you know what, you think first and foremost about his bat. But on, on top of that, he has the confidence and that swag that you want to see in a hitter. Tamar Johnson is a unique young man. His leadership skills are, are off the chart. Go, break through on me, break through on three. One, two, three. Tamar Johnson, considered one of the best pure prep hitters in decades, with a chance to be the best player picked in this draft. He's got that it factor. And I think the surprise that's getting overlooked, he can catch the ball. He's going to hit for high average. He's going to hit for power. I, I hate to drop a, I haven't seen anything like this since Griffey. But I was there when Griffey was 17. He can't take batting practice in Seattle. I haven't seen anything since that. Whatever organization gets him, or if he decides to go to college and play at ASU, their program is going to increase tenfold. Jason Jones, now the batter, perhaps the toughest out in this gray lineup. Second payoff pitch of the inning. This one on the hands, and it's just over the head of the shortstop. This one hit pretty well out towards the left center alleyway. That's going to bounce in there. A two out double. Nice job by Jones to make sure he got the tag down. Jason Jones, extremely athletic and bright future ahead of him. Whether Jason chooses Arkansas or to sign after he's drafted, he's got options, which is great. I'm extremely proud of Jason. All the hard work and dedication he's put in has kind of put him in the position to be here. We did have a tough summer. You know, he had a opportunity to be a top 10 type of guy. Struggled a little bit and, you know, I would say probably a month out of his career and they dropped him in the rankings. Good. Good. You know, I've worked with him ever since we started playing at three years old um, and now it's kind of us parting our ways. I'm excited for that next person to grab him and take his abilities and improve on him and make him a better player. So I'm excited. Good job, man. Good Thank workout. You. How Thank you feeling, man? You ready for the combine thing? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. I know I put a lot of hard work in, so I'm excited too. So can't wait to get out there and show him what I got. Can't wait to see you too, man. Just go out there and be yourself, man, and then show him the, the player you are. You got a lot of minds to change and uh, some people sleeping on you. Let's go in there and wake them up. Wake them up. <laughs> Don't sit on camera, they go rescue, bro. They oh my God, Rico. Oh, free thug. Right the room, Rico ain't real. It's real. It's real. I was talking about it earlier off camera, how different this process is here in 2022 than it was when you were going through the draft process in 2003. They are evaluating every single thing. Why does it make it better? You need to get all the metrics on these kids. The game has moved into a data-driven game, and to have all the information on these kids that you're about to make a, a sizable investment in, they're just doing their due diligence. Now, is there any sort of anxiety or nervousness that's probably going through these kids' minds and heads right now as, as they're being poked and prodded and, and, you know, really assessed at every single physical level? I think it should. You're out here getting seen by 
major league scouts, major league GMs. There's, there's a lot of people here with a, that are making big decisions. R.J. Austin, a young shortstop, uh, inside the top 200 players uh, among draft prospects, according to MLB.com. You saw his time at a little over 3-7. With a stumble. Waffle House is essential. Tell him, bro. How many times do I eat Waffle House? Every day. No, like every single day, like. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. OK, you're stretching it. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So today we'll be free baseball clinic uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, from 7 to 14 roads, where we just, you know, teaching kids how to play baseball. Uh, we're just unboxing all the stuff uh, that a player, Players Alliance gave to us. Uh, like Curtis Granderson and CeCe Zabathia, like, I'm giving them big thanks. It's really a blessing just receiving this stuff because we just couldn't be here without them. What, what color, what color y'all want? Y'all can pick. Put this on that hand. Oh, great. So proud of RJ. Like, this is all him. He came up with this. He wanted to do it annually. I'm proud. He's amazing. He's amazing. A mom's dream. What's up? You good? How you feeling? I like your chain. When you get it? Um, it's nice. You ready? I right, bet. The whole thing about RJ's camp is he loves to give back. Like it, it's kind of one of his passions. He he learned from me, you know, as a professional football player. Like I, I always told him I didn't give, get a chance to leave my legacy that way as far as giving back to the youth, and he's taking it on and just, just going out of this world with it. Like, this is this is huge, son. Back to the top of the order, here is R.J. Austin. Like I said, being a professional dad, and your son is playing in Purple Game All-American and USA team, and being talked about as getting drafted, that's nothing better I can ask for. R.J. Austin, who has been the leadoff batter in this game for Blue, taking the ball, going out to the mound, hoping to keep this game right where it is. So RJ hasn't made a decision yet, but whether he chooses to play professionally or go to Vanderbilt, he's got an extremely bright future ahead of him. Vanderbilt's a great program where they've developed some really good major league players. His future is bright, and you know, just can't wait to see what happens with RJ. Oh, I got it, I got it. You don't want to be Full count, swing and a miss. Austin got him, and light blue clinches it. They win the PDP league. Some kids that could be drafted have elected not to participate in the combine. If you're here, why not participate? Some people might not want to show all their athleticism. Some people, had, maybe their advisors, agents uh, are telling them to, hey, just, you know, you don't need to go. They have already seen what you can do. It's like the NFL. They get to actually sit down with these kids and talk to them. Most of the time they see them, they see them right after a game when they're either really through emotions or just in a completely different state of mind. You can get them at their best. The biggest thing that I think I've taken from my dad is his work ethic. I mean, I was really, really fortunate enough to be able to really be in the clubhouse with my dad and go be able to see his routines. It really kind of made me at such a young age realize like there's a lot of work that has, has to be put into this. And that's something that I've always really kind of just tried to follow. You know, Justin says the time he could talk, he said he was gonna play baseball. And he and Carl got to spend a lot of time together during Carl's seasons, especially when he was younger. It created the same kind of work ethic. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with the kind of work ethic of Carl Crawford. <laughs> so Justin coming behind and watching him and how he works and everything was really, really good for him, instrumental for him in, in terms of his own development. At the same time, the flip side of it is Justin wanted to do everything like his dad. I mean, to the T. When I was younger, I used to try to be exactly like my dad. I would try to copy his dance, try to hit like him. And I felt like when I was younger, I would really almost kind of get in my head like that because me trying to be like him, I was getting away from myself. But as I've gotten older, I've kind of, I was able to kind of recognize that I'm myself, I'm Justin Crawford, I'm not Carl Crawford. So that's something where I've always kind of lived by is, I'm Justin Crawford, I'm gonna show everybody what Justin Crawford can do, not what Carl Crawford's son can do. I think the biggest thing that I saw was the transformation in Justin himself. 
in terms of him coming to a place of knowing who he is and trusting who he is and recognizing that he could do it. See the ball before you stride, hit a bomb if it's inside. Up. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. Don't say nothing, because I was on my letters. I know, but it was. That was a strike. Hell no, it was a strike. The ball was right here. Gee, was that a strike? Gee, that's right. Hey, that bang on that man. Uh -huh. What? I think more than anything, his confidence level went up. Because all of a sudden, he knew what he was supposed to do. And he ended up hitting 503 his high school year. That was oh, senior year. And that was, that was beautiful. I mean, that's unheard of. 503 is not easy. It's just great to see Justin blossoming and love watching him play, similar to his dad. Exciting things happen uh, when he gets on the bases and he's gonna be scoring runs for somebody, whether it's in college at LSU or playing professionally. RJ stands for real juice. Stood up. Tell me about the level of talent that you've seen here. Best of the best. That's why the draft combine. Everybody's here. Uh, you see guys like Tamar Johnson, who's out here, Caden Martin, uh, Jason Jones. It's just all guys I know I grew up with. And, uh, you know, guys I know that can play really well it's out here performing. And who's RJ out of the field? What do you like to do? How do you hang out? Off awesome the field, I'm a guy. I love being around other people. I love traveling, uh, being with my girlfriend, of course, uh, being around family, being around my friends, you know, just having fun. That's, that's really what it is at the end of the day, just having fun. She's gonna kill you if you don't say that, huh? She's gonna kill me if I don't, sure. Thank you, I appreciate yeah. it. Good luck, man. Thank you. My girl, bro. Your girl? That was simple. Yeah, when you get her? Six months ago. Being six months, almost six and a half, you know? Oh, she's gonna kill you. Hey, what's, you hey, what's, hey, what's, what's the date? Like, what's that anniversary? November 29th. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, bro. She like, you right? You got right? Yeah. You like that? As soon as I seen Jason Jones out there, hey, we were, he, was, he came to the uh, broad jump. He was like, ah, oh, this is a big fella. Look, look at this kid. Look at him. I, I, I don't know, 6'4, six, 6'5, six, probably looks about 230 and just absolutely strong. Lana Rizzo next to me was like. It looks like a little, like a younger judge. Aaron Judge. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's a good comparison. This is what you want to see. You want to see power explosion. I think he's going to love his numbers and the scouts are going to love them also. We're looking at Jason Jones, a young man who's uber talented, ranked in the top 150 by MLB.com. He won the home run derby at the Baseball Factory All-American game in September of last year. Some of the best raw power in this entire prep class, and he's getting an opportunity to showcase his athleticism. Most hard hit balls so far all of today. Jason Jones still at the top of that list. When you make hard hit contact, you're gonna hit upwards of 480 and slug almost a thousand in the majors this year. What'd you take from it? You're sitting back there. Well, I'm actually taking in notes. <laughs> I'm actually learning myself. For these young players coming up, they get the perspective of the veteran hitters. These are good veteran hitters, right? You're getting all of this and that's just a great, great opportunity to learn. A lot of players that I've seen come up through the minor league system, they let these distractions. Right. I like to call them free flowers, you know? Right. On the way to the promise line, right? Exactly. Which would Rajay Davis could tie it with a home run. Break your focus, I can break you. Definitely. You know? I can break your focus. Unstoppable. Yeah, unstoppable. Definitely. That's the hardest thing to do, though. Definitely, that is true. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for talking. Let's go, Jason. Let's go, Tuck. Let's go. Let's go. Just came out here. Just yelled. Let's go. Get a bomb. Or two or five. You just came out here. What up, Lloyd? What's up, baby? I'm on TV, look. See on TV? What's up, baby? Get these people a show. They want to see the pop. 
Where I want to see it. Where's my turf at, buddy? Damn, my bad. I brought them just for you. That's the hardest thing ever. I got a power, I got a power burn on my back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a cool experience, bro. It's something you can tell your kids. I went to the 2022 MLB Draft Combine. That's what I'm gonna tell my kids. Tomorrow's the top leaderboard. He may be the first pick off the board in the draft. I tell you what, nobody ever messed with these mechanics. You see how he kind of hitches those hands in there. You look in the Hall of Fame, man, they all move their hands like that. I like that. Yeah, I feel you. I feel that. Now Justice sitting on a 3-1 pitch. Swinging a long drive to right. This one is on its way. This one is gone. Exactly. Right? So, because you're here like this, you got to hit that. I'm giving him I want to hear it. 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 What, what are you talking about real quick? He's got oh, when you have a head, when you're here. I've been here for Tennessee to have his head come this way. You don't walk down the street like this, right? That if he keeps his chin down, squares his head a little bit more, and think more through the ball this way, he'll hit line drives the other way. How'd you feel, man? I felt good. You know, I'm just trying to make sure I stay on my swing plane, make sure I do I backspin the ball and not top spin it. Mom, my mom was always with me. Going back to when I was eight years old and first started travel ball, my mom was always taking me there. It was always my number one supporter. And she's definitely been the best person there for me. How was it? Oh, it was good, man, you know? Just met a few of those teams, you know, I met with the Royals, the Rockies. I was super proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you've been working hard this whole time. I watched you really sacrificing everything yeah. over these, especially over this last year, so. All starting to come together. It's, it's surreal, real, isn't it, man? It's starting Almost. to get real, isn't it? I know. It just seems crazy. All right. OK, all right. Well, let's get you some food. Yeah, so okay, You deserve it. I yeah, love you. Love I'm too, so bro. proud of you, I love you, too. Come on. It's OK. They like steak or something. Oh, of course. <laughs> I already know that. Or Better? Just saw that shot of Jerry Mangle. I mean, how many victories do you think that a good manager is worth to a team in the season? I don't think there's a definitive number. I think if I were to give you some advice going to the next level, it's be you. That was going that's gonna be the huge thing. There's a certain style that you have that needs to keep going. Don't let nobody take that from you. That's us. That's us. We as a people, the pillars of our community have always been religion, fashion, dance, and baseball. We can do that. So you're going to be able to do that the rest of your life. Anyway. And you you keep that. You see, like, this very tradition in baseball. What I think has been missing is a flair. And I think the next generation of players is going to bring that. You see the people, they're allowing the players to be themselves. Do something that reflects their culture and not just the way it should be. Look, I'm saying put me to the test. I'm a I'm the only one clapping. What's up with that? Yeah. I think that they don't have to carry themselves different because then you're not getting who you draft. There has to be a level of freedom that goes with them so they can do their thing, and that's why you draft to them. Hit a double RJ. If we fall, we gon' stand tall. Oh, 
most of the guys that are coming up and everything, they have the talent. So it's just really about the consistency of you know how they're doing it. I'll say, hey, you gotta make sure you have a good routine, do this, do that. You just stay on the same play, don't get too high, don't get too low. Just stay there and just keep working hard, keep working hard. Stay humble, because the game will humble you. The one thing about RJ is the greatest attribute that he has is that he's a competitor. Tremendous That's awful, bro. Oh, Did you get the shoe string? I thought I heard it click. That's what we play. That's what we do. That's what we do. Keep the pressure on. What happened there? Like slid and uh, yeah. That yeah. was rough. Very. I told you, right? It was like after, yeah, the, like, third, awful, after the third inning, it got like, rock hard and it was just straight. The first but like the ground balls are good though. Like they oh, ground ball all, surface like, is really beautiful. Good, it's just uh, trying to slide. Guys like RJ Austin, Jason Jones, different things like breakthrough series that really brings us together even more and gives us the opportunity to play with each other. That's definitely something where it's brought us so close and really made us really made us brothers when we we talk pretty much every day. We run the thirty, all that stuff. The, uh, the, the, so, the strength. Of I did it right before the game. Yeah, I, I was dead. <laughs> I was dead. Oh, did you do the little sliding thing with the? Yes. Yeah. No, man, that that's what that killed my legs. I was yeah. done. Every time she was like, "Stop kicking it." I was like, "I mean, you yeah. sure we do have no balance." Don't rest your yeah. foot. Yeah. yeah, she's like, "Don't rest your foot on top of it." I was like, "I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm trying to push it." <laughs> that's a brotherhood. Uh, I don't think nothing can can really compare to that. I was definitely nervous whenever I first got down here because I definitely have something to prove with, with myself and uh, kind of reflecting back on everything in, that has happened in this past week. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, pretty good, and uh, I can't wait to kind of get back to my family and go back to the lab and get, get back to working out every single day and uh, stop getting spoiled. <laughs> Jason Jones has some of the best raw power in this draft class. He had great numbers, broad jump, the force plates. I, I put it this way. He did himself good today. I'm a wide drop for five minutes. Come on. Welcome to the 2022 MLB draft. This is big time. We have players in attendance waiting to hear their name to go up, shake hands with the commissioner. We're in Hollywood. There's pressure. This is awesome. With the first pick, the Baltimore Orioles select sparkling water. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Okay, I tried it and I almost threw up. I'm not gonna lie. It is that serious. Hear me out. Mentally, you're thinking that it's like a soda. Like I think that's a sprite. And then it goes down and it tastes like nothing. And a little hit the lemon. It's like a diet coke, bro. It's like you need chills. 